it's Des and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to be doing the zipper face. This was the one that I actually bought contacts for because I wanted it to be scary. So, there's also another thing I'm going to add to it, but I don't know if it's going to work. So, it could fail, it might not. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm going to do my eyeshadow first just because I do want like an eyeshadow look with this look. So, I didn't do my eyeshadow because Sage was really fussy when I was about to do it. So, I'm just going to do yellow, pink, and maybe some shimmery yellow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm just going to like wing it and go along with it. I finally got him to go to sleep. I am applying some coverage under my eyes because I do have bags and now I am just blending that all in now I'm applying yellow on my eyes and going in with some pink and now I'm blending both colors together which it looks orange in the middle and now I'm applying some eyeliner so now I'm putting on the zipper which I actually dread to do the zipper just because like I don't like the way it feels on my face. So now I'm putting some fake blood all over my zipper part of the face. And I'm talking to John at this point because he came home. So he will be helping me with Sage throughout the video. As you can tell, I kind of dreaded to put the blood on my lips just because it's wet and it's cold. Now I'm putting tissue paper just to add some texture and to make it look a little more realistic. And Sage woke up at this point. So now I'm putting some of the pieces that are sticking up but covering it with blood as well. And I don't know if y'all can hear the plane in the background, but yeah, there's a stupid plane flying around right now. And it's literally just in my area. <laughs> I'm going in with some darker blood. And at this point, John was interested and wanted to help me. Very interested. <laughs> now I'm going in with black and just like adding more texture and more details to it. I was actually surprised with how it came out. And John thought I should add more tissue, so I did. Which made this process way more longer than it needed to be. This video was 89 minutes long when I got done recording it. Now, I turned it into a 6 minute video, just for y'all. I mean, I don't think y'all would want to watch me just dabbing it for 89 minutes, you get me? Yeah. So that piece just like came off, so I was trying my best not to get frustrated. This is where like I almost lost my shit. But this is where I'm doing the crescent moon. Now I'm adding a bunch of fake blood all over it, making sure none of it is white. And now I'm putting just like a little bit of like dripping blood on the under of the moon. Adding some dark blood in the middle. And of course adding some red on the outside to it just to make it look more detailed. And John at this point started helping me with stars 
Now the whole moon and the stars thing, the moon is because I'm half Native American. My tribe is called Aztec. And back then they used to pray to the moon because they thought it was a god. But of course now times have changed. But as for the stars, the stars remind me of Sage. Like no matter where I go or where he goes in this world when he grows up, I can always look up at the stars and just think of him. So at this point they look like crosses, but I do turn them into stars, just letting you know. <laughs> And I'm just detailing the stars, adding more blood and a little bit of black to it. So at this point I'm putting in these white contacts and I cannot see out of them, but thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe. I will be bringing out some more looks.